Hi, today we're going to talk about adding fractions um, and making like units numerically. Because with fractions, um, when you add and subtract them, they do need to have a common denominator um, because they need to have equal pieces that you're going to combine. Um, so we look at these and we used to make pictures, but when you have three add-ins, you can't do pictures anymore. Um, and this is also just a more efficient way than doing the pictures. So we have to try to see how to make these denominators the same. We have five, four, and 10. So I'm gonna write five, four, 10. And I'm gonna skip count by both five, four, and 10. So I'm gonna go five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm just going five times with each number. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And then 10s are easy. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now, I need to look at all the... Um, of those numbers and say, all right, which number do I have in five, four, and 10 that are the same? And you want the smallest number to be the same. So if you look, we have 20 as a common multiple of both of those numbers, of all three of those numbers. So we're going to give them each a denominator of 20. So to get from five to 20, we need to multiply by four. You don't just multiply the denominator because you can't just come up and say, hey, denominator, I'm going to multiply you by four and the problem's still going to work. You need to make it make sense. And the only way it makes sense is if you make this into a fraction, four over four times two fifths, because four over four is equivalent to one. So four times two is eight. Four times five is 20. We have our first fraction renamed for addition at the end. Now we have one fourth. We have to multiply four by five to get to 20. So again, you have to multiply the numerator and denominator because then you have five over five, it's equivalent to one, which means this is okay to do in math. This isn't breaking any rules. You get five twentieths. Now we have one tenth. We need to make it um, to have the common denominator of 20. So we multiply it by two. And again, numerator and denominator both by two. That's gonna give us two tenths. Adding them together, I can do this one really quickly. I see eight and two, which add to give me 10, plus five more is 15. Did you guys see my mistake? I just noticed it. This, I'm, this is why you always use pencil in math. All right, that's 2 20ths. I'm sorry, I misread that. So then you get 15 20ths when you add it together. 